oil that'll end up giving us balanced wine. Here are some answers to the most common compost problems. But first, let's review the basics. The four ingredients are greens, browns, air, and water. Build the pile to be half green and half brown by volume. The three basic steps to building a pile are chop materials to six inches or less, mix materials to add air to the pile and evenly distribute greens and browns, and maintain moisture as damp as a wrung out sponge. One problem people have with their compost is smell, and that's easy to fix. Compost should smell good. Bad smells are a sign that the pile doesn't have enough air or enough browns and too much green material like food scraps or grass clippings. To get rid of smells, just add leaves or other dry yard trimmings and give your compost pile a turn. Always cover food scraps or grass clippings with a layer of browns or bury them in the center of the pile. Don't overwhelm your pile with too much food waste. If you have too many grass clippings, you can use them outside the compost pile as a mulch or leave them right on the lawn. The fine pieces of grass settle to the ground where they help hold moisture and put nutrients back into the soil. If you're regularly adding greens, such as grass and kitchen scraps, you may not find enough brown materials to add at the same time. Many composters solve this problem by collecting leaves and other brown materials and storing them in a trash bag or an open pile near their compost bin so they can add them as needed. If you can't collect enough browns in your own yard, you may be able to get sawdust from untreated wood at a lumber yard. You can even use small amounts of shredded paper or cardboard. Some people find that their compost is not decomposing fast enough. This usually means the pile is too dry. Particularly in hot areas, a compost pile can dry out, killing off the microorganisms that do the work in the pile. Add enough water to keep the materials as damp as a wrung out sponge. Slow decomposition can also occur when people throw large woody materials into a pile without chopping them up. The more you chop, the faster the materials will decompose. Inadequate amounts of greens are another potential cause of slow composting. Microorganisms need a balance of nitrogen from greens and carbon from browns. So for a more active compost pile, remember to keep up your greens. And it's actually fun, you know, it helped me reconnect, I guess you could say, to the earth. I get out there and I do my turning and that's my exercise for the week and I just have a good time with it. Dalia, mommy. Mommy? Whether it's fresh salads or pasta with tomatoes and basil, fresh salsa or strawberries, healthier trees, flowers, or ornamental plants. Composters reap tantalizing rewards for their recycling efforts. Reducing their waste disposal bills, saving money by replacing soil conditioners and mulches, and by saving water. Dorothy, Ward, Claudia, and Renee are helping the environment by using less garden chemicals, reducing pressure on landfills, and cutting down the pollution generated by transporting and processing their waste. Alameda County households throw away about 1,000 tons of waste every day of the year. Most of it could easily be composted or recycled. Composting makes a difference. Join the 30,000 households in the county who are composting at home. You'll be helping to recycle nature's way, feeding our soil, and helping to make our planet healthy. So do the rot thing. Call the Alameda County Waste Management Authority and Recycling Board hotline at 444-SOIL about a new compost bin, composting classes, locations of demonstration gardens, composting in the schools, or for anything you need to know about composting.
Hold these for a second, I've got to grab something. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs>